How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the three best VPNs for the United States with, of course, updated local servers. And if you're outside the United States, you will not be able to access some websites and streaming content, which is why you're going to need to look for a good VPN with United States servers. Let's say you're trying to access your Disney Plus account, your Hulu account, Amazon Prime Video, or the Netflix US library, you're not going to be able to access it if you're outside the United States. This goes the same for other things, exclusively to the US, and especially if you're trying to access your local bank account, as you don't want to risk getting temporarily suspended, banned, or locked out of your account simply because you're trying to access it from an IP address that's not American. Now, with a VPN, you'll be able to hide your true geographic location by connecting to a VPN server in the US. Doing this would also give you an American IP address, which would make websites think that you're in the United States, even though you're physically somewhere else. Regardless of where you are in the world, the right VPN can help you access international content that may or may not be exclusive to specific countries. And so, if you're an American citizen traveling overseas, a VPN can help you access your favorite US exclusive content. And of course, you're going to need it to protect your information, especially if you regularly use public Wi-Fi, since these usually are playgrounds for hackers and malicious actors. Besides that, it's extremely important to encrypt your web traffic using a VPN especially if you have billing information or banking information on your devices. Otherwise, bad actors could get a hold of these credentials and put you in a lot of trouble. And so I've tested over a couple dozen of these VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budget and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN. As you can tell here with ExpressVPN, we have plenty of United States locations for you to choose from. And overall, you have over 3,000 servers in 105 countries. You'll also be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription with ExpressVPN and it works pretty much on all platforms. It's a very easy to use VPN and my number one recommendation, especially if you travel to censorship heavy countries such as China or Turkey, as you'll be able to get around any censorship firewall using ExpressVPN. It's a premium and very powerful VPN, and no matter where you go, you'll get around any firewall. With NordVPN, you get a whole bunch of bonus features. And of course, you have over 6,300 servers in 111 countries. As you can tell right here, with regards to the United States, you have all kinds of locations from the East to the West and Middle America, which makes it a great option to access American content. Besides that, you'll be able to secure up to 10 devices per subscription and similar to Express, it works on pretty much all platforms. So overall, NordVPN is just a great, well-rounded VPN that gives you a whole lot of features at a very reasonable price. Now, if you're looking for the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, I highly recommend you go for Surfshark. One thing I really liked about Surfshark is that it allows you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, which makes it a great option if you want to share your account with your friends and family. You have over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and as you can tell, you also have all types of locations from the East to the West and Middle America with Surfshark right here. Besides that, you get all the necessary security features that you need. Of course, all these VPNs do have these features, such as the kill switch, a few protocols, and the split tunneling. Now, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs before you make the purchase, whether it's pricing, policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, or security and features, you'll find links to in-depth reviews on each of these VPNs in the description down below. And of course, if you'd like to jump straight ahead to pricing and discounts, you'll also find those in the description down below. But either way, if let's say you buy one of these and you wanna go back on your decision, you have 30 days to reconsider thanks to the 30-day money-back guarantee that covers all these VPNs. Oh, and one more thing before I sign off, if you do decide to get any of these VPNs, just make sure that you know what plan to get. You see, I've spoken with ExpressVPN, and it seems that most people think that they're not gonna need a VPN for more than a month, so they get the monthly plan. However, most of the time, it turns out that they end up using the VPN for more than a month, so it keeps resubscribing at the much higher rate of the monthly rate, when they could have paid way less if they opted for one of the larger plans. So if you're absolutely sure that you're only gonna need a VPN for a month, then by all means, get the monthly plan. But if you're not sure, or think you're gonna need it for more than a month, then you'd be saving a lot more money if you opt for one the longer term plans. And this applies to all three VPNs, by the way, not just Express. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.